Hey guys, Matt Kentucky Ranch Time, back with another episode of our 38 Special Gel Block Test Series. And this episode is going to focus on the Hornady 140 grain XTP bullet. And, uh, you know, we, we tested most of these bullets also on 357 Magnum. And I want to go up through the 140 and the 158 grain, which will be the next video coming up and the last video in this series. So let's turn around and get a look at the uh, the loading for this 140 grain, and then we'll get on out to the range and see how this one does. All right, so here we got CCI small pistol primers, power pistol powder again, and uh, the 38 cal 140 grain XTP bullet. And there's a good look at the part and proof from Hornady on this. And here is a good look at the loading on this thing as well. So uh, it gives an idea about how much is down in the case. And this is the standard XTP bullet, uh, unlike the 125 grain that we just tested last that was the flat point. All right, so let's get out to the range and see how this thing does. And then we'll be back to uh, look at the results. <clears throat> All right, guys, next up, we've got the uh, Hornady 140 grain XTP bullet loaded in 38 Special. We're gonna be running this out of the 20 inch Rossi R92, the six and a half inch Taurus Tracker, the four inch Ruger GP100, the three inch Rossi RP63, and the Rossi Snub Nose. And velocities will be coming from the Garmin Cero C1 Pro, and catches will be courtesy of Clear Ballistics. And the block I'm shooting down here, we actually had one previous test in this block, and I'm gonna to try to maneuver these to where we can still get decent decent views of the wound tracks for these. All right, so here we go. Velocity of 1230.4. Let's go check out the catch. All right, the wind track for this 140 grain XTP starts right here. We've got nice quick expansion on this bullet. Nice permanent wound cavity down here to about seven or eight inches. Uh, we've got some active fragments coming off in the nine to 10 inch area. Again, down here in the 15 to 16 inch area. And then this bullet goes into straight line penetration for a total run of about 21 and a quarter inches. It's pretty cloudy, but you can still see that bullet laying in there. Looks like pretty decent expansion on this, guys. All right, next up is the Taurus Tracker, six and a half inch. The Hornady 140 grain XTP bullet and 38 special. Velocity of 1032. Let's see if we got the catch. All right, guys, so uh, wound track starting right here. We've got nice quick expansion on this bullet. Uh, not as much permanent wound cavity as what we had with the rifle round, but we got some decent permanent wound cavity down here to about four and a half inches, and then it settles down, and then we start getting straight line penetration. It comes right across into the second gel block and looks like we pushed all the way into about 24 inches before it sucked back just a little bit. And you can see the nose on that is slightly opened up, but I would not say that it's mushroomed a whole lot. So, all right, let's go back and try the five inch. All right, next up is the Hornady 140 grain XDP bullet and 38 special. Be running this out of the five inch Ruger GP100. Velocity of 1070. Let's go see if we got the catch. All right, wound track right here across the top. And uh, doesn't appear like we've got a whole lot going on with this bullet as far as expansion goes. I do see some uh, active lead fragments out here uh, around six and a half and again around nine. 11 inches, um, but 
that's about all I'm seeing. This bullet tracks right on down. And looks like we are down to about 24 and a half inches. Uh, and we were skimming along just under the surface of the gel block here. So we get a really good look at this bullet. All right, that's uh, the Ruger five inch. Let's go back and try the three inch Rossi. All right, next up is the Hornady 140 grain XTP bullet out of the three inch Rossi RP63. And no velocity. Pretty sure we got a catch, so let's go ahead and reshoot this for the velocity. Three. Let's go check out the catch. All right, guys, this one's a little hard to make out. Wound track starting right here, and uh, come around down through here. It's laying right in under and behind that one. Pretty much just straight line penetration is all I'm seeing out of this. All the way down here to about 25 and a half inches of total penetration. And looks like the, the very front end of this bullet opened up and that's about it. All right, next up is the uh, Rossi two inch snub nose with the Hornady 140 grain XTP. No velocity. Let me go see if I got a catch. All right, I do have a catch. So this next one's going into the backstop to get our velocity. Eight seventy six point five, and I'm having to get low over here to keep these from angling up or down in the gel block. And I think what I'm doing is I'm getting too low. For the, uh, for the Garmin to pick it up. Uh, 15 feet's a pretty short distance. So, uh, you know, you're supposed to shoot pistol right over top of the Garmin, but there's no way I can do that into these gel blocks with the elevation of the tables and the shooting benches I've got here. So uh, that may be something we look at changing later on. All right, let's go check that one out. So I was able to lay this bullet in here where it wasn't completely obscured by the other wound tracks. And uh, wound track starts right here. It doesn't appear we got a whole lot going on at all as we come down through here. It covers down at this point and comes all the way over here to about 20 and three quarters inches of overall penetration. And if you take a look at that, it's similar to the three inch, looks like the nose has opened up a little bit but, but not much past that at all, just the pedals folding back. All right, guys, that'll wrap up the, uh, the 140 grain XTP, and we've got the 158 grain left to test while we're here today, so keep an eye out for that video as well. All right, guys, so here we go. We've got these all dug out. 20-inch uh, rifle, 6.5-inch Taurus, 4-inch, uh, I'm sorry, 5-inch Ruger GP100, 3-inch Rossi, and the 2-inch Rossi snub nose. And take a look at these. Um, all five of these barrel lengths laid the copper all the way back 
um, against the, the body of the bullet. And we got some pretty substantial expansion uh, and mushrooming started on the rifle round. And we just did get uh, completely opened up and uh, the lead peeled back on the, five, the six and a half, the five and the three inch and the two inch, like just a little bit, even getting the lead all the way opened up. So, uh, you know, we did get some good penetration across the board, all the way down to the two inch Rossi with this bullet. And uh, so that's pretty significant. And remember at some point, uh, this bullet was actually opened up probably another quarter inch wider as those pedals uh, made the trip from, from forward to backwards. So that actually created a, a pretty decent uh, temporary and permanent wound channel, even for this 38 special. So, uh, you know, pretty satisfied with the results on this. All right, guys, the Hornady 140 grain XTP loading. And uh, this thing did surprisingly well uh, all the way down. Uh, even the two inch got a pretty decent expansion uh, going on there. Uh, velocities ranging from 1230 in the rifle, uh, 983 in the three inch and 877 in the two inch. And, and even at those lower velocities, you know, we still got this, uh, the, the tip on this bullet to open up. Uh, and the three inch, actually, we, we actually just, just started having a little bit of a mushrooming effect starting up. So, uh, and that was pretty good. And then on top of the expansion is the penetration. So the rifle had 21 and a quarter inches of penetration, 24 inches with the, the six and a half barrel, 24 and a half with the five inch barrel, 25 and a half with the three inch barrel and 20 inches of penetration with that little two inch snub nose. So, uh, this 140 grain bullet retaining some of that energy and being able to drive in a little bit deeper and uh, just getting the job done. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button. And also go check out my link tree and all the, the nice affiliates that, uh, that I have partnered up with there. That's, uh, that's how I make a lot of the money that helps support the page, uh, along with, uh, the YouTube commissions. And, uh, so, Anytime you can shop from those customers, I would greatly appreciate that. And anytime you can share those with your friends, that's even uh, even a, another bonus. So, uh, all right, guys, Matt from Kentucky Range Time. 158 grain XTP coming up, and that'll be closing out the, uh, the 38 Special Series. And we'll catch you then.